All right, I just completed the Dahomey uh, scenario, and again, another fairly simple French victory. Um, and this one, I could actually see where the French could have some problems with supply, uh, because the um, Dahomeyans, and this is the end of the, the scenario here, so there's no enemies even left on the map. Um, you can see this stack of guys over here. This was what the Dahomeyans started with. It was all killed. Um, I started with the Dahomeyans by putting a, uh, their main force here in the capital, um, which the French were going for, and then I actually started another stack of their fanatical um, quote-unquote Amazons uh, over here in uh, this village of Salete. Um, with the French, I left just a single um, battalion. I forget what level the one point units are. One strength, um, those are detachments or companies. So I left um, a, a company in Porto Novo over here on the coast and uh, another company here in, um, in Waida and then moved the main army up the road here to Abame, um, the capital. And uh, my my goal in starting some of the Dahomeyans over here was to try and bring them down here to Waida and or threaten the supply link to the main French force up here since I realized in the Algiers scenario trying to just defend the main spaces against the French army was pointless because everybody would end up dead. Um, that said, I did make an attempt to defend Abomey here, but it didn't, it didn't really work. So, uh, you know, once the French got up here, they killed everyone in the city. Um, they might not have... Uh, one thing I've learned is that, that if you get tactical superiority and you shoot first, if the French get it, it's pretty much game over for the natives. Um, if the natives get it, they have a chance of potentially demoralizing, maybe eliminating, but more likely demoralizing some French units. If it's a small French force, like this was, um, you know, these columns, as you can see here, were fairly small stacks of French units. Um, so, you know, if you can demoralize a lot of those, you know, that can help, or if you can eliminate one or two of them, that can start to help. Um, the Dahomeyans weren't able to do that, though, because the French ended up getting that tactical superiority, which left them pretty much killing all of the Dahomean units before they could even shoot back. So, um, anyway, the, so the French were able to take this pretty easily, but I did have a substantial force of Dahomean troops move from this village here and make an assault on Waida, unfortunately, since the Dahomeans don't have any engineers to try and blow through the fortress um, defenses. They had to make an IS-3 uh, DRM on every attack die roll on the fortress. So even though I only had a company of guys here, a one-point unit here, um, the you know roughly 16 points worth of Dahomean troops weren't able to make any dent. Um, so you know, the battle ended up being a draw. Um, I was able to move my... Uh, machine guns and artillery units down here um, to counterattack. I ended up leaving uh, those the French Foreign Legion units here. They took the village of Kana, which is worth victory points. And then the... Uh, and this was one of the other strategies for the game. It, it took a little time to move up this road. You know, the Europeans can move half movement, but if you've got supply units with you, which I did because I needed them, they're only moving four spaces per turn, so it, it takes you a couple turns just to get to the capital. Um, what I ended up doing was because I wanted to get there and take it uh, before I ran out of time, because you only have what is it, six turns um, to do everything in. Um, I wanted to get up here and take the capital and not risk the potential of running out of time, so I ended up leaving some of my slower units behind. And uh, one of the special events ended up demoralizing my machine guns and infantry, so they were stuck like back here, um, you know, by the time I took away. But because they were stuck back here, I thought, well, why don't I use them to move back down here um, next to Wida and uh, uh, attack this, or counterattack the uh, 
Dogman troops that were attacking here. So I ended up moving them back down here. And, you know, my artillery, it was just two units. There's, I think, a, a five unit and a four unit. Or not a five unit, a one unit. But the one unit was a machine gun and the five unit was um, breech loading artillery. And they just absolutely decimated the uh, um, native troops before they could even shoot back. So um, that just kind of goes to show you how lopsided the native warfare was. So, um, you know, once again, fairly unbalanced. The, the, the real problem was I rolled, you know, six times for native reinforcements. And I could have had some uh, guerrilla reinforcements here. That's what all these units are. Um, I could have potentially had replacements. You know, some of the guys that were dead could have come back on. There were any number of things that could have kept the game alive for the Dahmans uh, on the ran or on the uh, in terms of reinforcements. And every time I rolled ones or twos, which means nothing happens, or they would lose units if they had any guerrillas on the board, which they never even got. But that's what I ended up with was ones and twos. So if you get screwed on rolls like that, there's nothing you can do about it. So we just, you know, I just ended up playing out the turn, or playing out the, the scenario, uh, never getting those Dahman reinforcements. So that was another reason why it was fairly easy for the French to win here. Had the Dahmans gotten some guerrilla units out there, um, they could have potentially tried to threaten some of the French victory point spaces. Uh, you know, Porto Novo, it's, it's tough to get those fortresses if you don't have engineers, because you're going to face that minus three modifier. So, you know, they could have tried to push on Kana. You know, which was also worth victory points to them. And that's why I stuck the French Foreign Legion there, which are um, breech-loading rifle veteran troops. So they're going to have that plus two modifier. Um, so they'd be tough to dislodge from there. And then I kept my weaker line unit guys uh, in the capital. So um, that's what we ended up with, the Dahomey scenario. Um, another, another easy win for the French, but I did enjoy it a little bit more than I did the Algiers 1830 scenario, just because um, there was a little bit, you know, I could kind of threaten um, by starting my Dahomeyans in a different area. Um, I could try and mess with French supply and hope I get some good events and uh, reinforcement rolls. And I just, I didn't get the rolls, but it could have been potentially more interesting um, if the natives can get those rolls.